William makes $10.25 per hour washing dishes at New West Sushi. Last week he worked 23.5 hours. What was William's gross income for last week? Well, $10.25 an hour times the 23.5 hours will give us his gross income for the week. So let's see what we get. Let's pull out our calculator here. And we have 10.25 times 23.5. So $240, and if I round to the nearest penny, that's going to be $0.88. Cents. So $240.88. B, use the chart to determine William's standard deductions. So in another video, I show you how to... Um, use a different type of chart and that's what you're going to be doing in your provincial exam but in your workbook you have a lot of questions like this where they actually give you a percent so here we're going to be taking a percentage of that gross income and we're going to be taking that uh, off of uh, off of the paycheck for our net income so here you can see we have uh, 10 percent for income tax two percent for ei and five percent for cpp so how much income tax will William pay on $240.88 gross? Well, 10% of that, okay, you can choose to use a calculator if you wish, but we just have to move the decimal place once. But let's show, show you on the calculator. Remember that if we are calculating 10%, we need to take that 10 and first divide by 100 to get the decimal value 10%, that's 0 0.01, and we're gonna multiply that by the $240.88. 88 cents. What do we get? We get $24.09 if we round that. $24.09. So, what did we do? We took the $240.88 and we multiplied that by 0 0.1. And that gave us $24.09. $24.09. Okay, EI, 2%. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take our $240.88. And this time we're going to multiply by 2%. So what's 2% as a decimal? If you want, you can just take it in the calculator, divide by 100, and it will give you what 2% is a decimal, which is 0 0.02. 0 0.02. So multiply by 0 0.02. And what do we get? 0 0.02 times 240.88. Four dollars and 82 cents. We round to the nearest penny. Two decimal places. Four dollars and 82 cents. Four dollars and 82 cents. Now for CPP, this is five percent. So 200 and forty dollars and eighty eight cents times zero point zero five so some of you may just know right away what five percent as a decimal but you can always divide by hundred in the calculator so two hundred and forty dollars oops try that again two hundred and forty dollars and eighty eight cents times zero point zero five gives us twelve dollars and four cents. Twelve dollars and four cents. Yes, we have our three amounts. We have our three standard deductions, income tax, EI, and CPP. Part C wants to know what was William's net income for last week. So what we need to do is we need to take the gross income here, which was two hundred and forty dollars and eighty-eight cents. And we are going to subtract off all the deductions. What do we have? We have $24.09. We have $4.82. And we have $12.04. So what does this give us? 
bring that up. $240.88 minus $2409 minus $482 minus $1204. $199.93. So $199.93. So William's net income for last week was $199.93.